I have Kenneth Okungwa, the spokesperson for Labour Party Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, and one of the lawyers representing His Excellency Peter Obi and Labour Party in court for this petition. Oh well, you know, in issues like this, you go on incrementally. There were motions that were moved, but particularly the application that we are seeking for the live streaming of this petition was the one that stood out. And let me say that the issue of public hearing of our courts is a constitutional issue. Section 36, subsection 3 guarantees that courts should sit in public. So there is nothing secret about courts. If you go to Kenya, you will see that Kenya's the live stream. You go to the United States, even when a president of the United States, the former president was indicted, the whole world saw it. What are we hiding? The one that is disturbing is that INEC as an umpire that has a great opportunity to clear its name from its battered image is opposing the public hearing of this petition, opposing that Nigerians should know why they declared a winner in the dead of the night. They are opposing these things as if there is something to hide. Why would an umpire oppose Nigerians hearing something publicly? So it's very disturbing. So the court has adjourned for ruling on that issue. We were in court when we heard it. What do you expect? The reason people are developing cold feet to the justice delivery in our country is for such orders and rulings. But we have come this far. And there will be no retreat, there will be no surrender. You also saw how a court was disgraced in court today, who came in purporting to represent somebody in a petition that has already commenced. We are, we are there on the 8th of May, when this petition commenced. And you just want to break in, as they normally do, breaking into people's properties without authorization. The only thing that is regrettable is that at times they do it with some collusion with some members that ought to be delivering justice, not delivering judgment. Whether the case, we heard it that it's in Kano. Good. By the time it comes to Abuja, maybe where jurisdiction is, I think the people that have the jurisdiction will deliver better justice to that. But just know that it is ephemeral, temporal, and will soon pass away, like the people that came to court today passed away disgracefully. As a matter of fact, the learned judges of the Court of Appeal told one unknown lawyer, you should have known better as a son that you shouldn't do this. So our legal system should have known better that they should not be removing people that come to power by the will of the Nigerian people through the courts. It's the Nigerian people that determine who will govern them, not the courts. So it's unfortunate we've come to this level in this country.